welcome back to the channel. Kayla Jukic here if you're new. If you're not, welcome back. Today is Saturday and I'm going to be taking you through kind of a weekend in my life, but it is mainly a weekend reset just because I have a lot of things to do. I need to clean my condo. I need to clean my fridge out. I need to clean my bathroom. I want to bake. I'm going out for sushi with some girlfriends tonight and having a little girls night. I need to clean my stove. There, there's a lot to do. It's like almost 3 p.m. right now. Now, last night I just relaxed and I just chilled. It was so refreshing and so good. This morning I went to the mall for a little bit while Alan was working and now I feel like it's probably time for me to get on the things that I need to get on. Like I said, my list is very long so we are just gonna get started. I'm gonna be super productive. This is gonna be a productive vlog, I promise you. Let's hope. Honestly, this video is much needed because just seeing the chaos of my condo, it literally looks like something just went off. Like, I will show you in a second. First of all, look at this chair. Like, how is somebody supposed to even sit there? <laughs> And then my couch, like it's not terrible, but it's like, why are three pillows on this side and one on that side and the blanket there? It's just like, what? And then this, like what is even going on here? There's just bag on the floor, my work laptop, a bunch of papers, a bunch of just random stuff, literally just a bunch of random stuff. And it gets worse. Look at my kitchen island. We got keys, clips, random Allen's work there, chocolate. Like, look at this, my oven, got this everywhere, this everywhere, I got dishes to do like madness right now. This little area above my stove, so there's my stove above it. Honestly, I try and stay organized, but like literally what is this? There's so much, so many bags of chips, so many cans of food. It's just, it's pure chaos. So like I said to you, this video is much needed, not even for you guys, but for my own mental health and stability. Totally irrelevant, but we already have our Christmas lights up. Up, but fun fact, we didn't even take them down from last year because we were like, no. But it's already starting to fall here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I need to try and fix that. Kobe, are you going to help me, buddy? He just keeps walking around. So what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to help mama? Oh my god, he's so cute. Honestly, I think for the sake of starting small and like working baby steps, we're going to tackle this first. This chair is quite literally... Probably my biggest pet peeve about our condo because by the end of the week, it looks like this. There is just so much crap on it. Sweaters, jackets, I have a hat. I have my tripod for the gym just hidden under all of these clothes. So I am going to put it all away, hang up the coat, put the two sweaters, I think there's two, and a pair of pants. Like this is Alan's work pants. I'm gonna put that in the laundry because this is a chair. Somebody, if they were to come over, would need to sit here, so. So back to my living room, we have this little table. This is where we eat usually, like we'll sit on the couch. And this wasn't on my list, but honestly, like look at this. Like that is my wedding stuff. Literally my wedding was two and a half months ago. So I think I'm just going to organize this next. This is honestly a compilation of so much paperwork. It's insane. So these like little black folders, I literally just got these at Dollarama, but I absolutely love them. This is how I keep all my client information. So I'll quickly show you but if you open it up literally each little tab is like my client's name and then they have all of their paperwork so for example all of the client stuff in terms of like physical paperwork I have a lot of stuff that's you know online on Google drives and on the app and that kind of stuff but like physical notes right here so this is something I definitely want to keep here that could be garbage that's garbage that's garbage. This is all of my wedding stuff. My friend Amanda bought me this lovely like planner. It was so detailed and so helpful. And then all of these like other folders are like things that I made. This, I don't think I want to throw it out just because like core memories, you know? So I think I'm just going to put this with my wedding stuff, but it doesn't need to be under here any longer. I don't know why I literally have a zillion pens, so that is not necessary. Honestly, look at it. This area looks so much cleaner now. I love it. Moving on to the 
fridge. So during the week, I actually cleaned up my freezer, so that was really helpful. Honestly, my fridge, as you can see, is so full right now. Honestly, there's nothing really that I need to actually throw out. We just have a ton of leftovers, so I just need to organize it. And as well, I would just want to take out all the shelves and clean them because I have not done that in quite some time. So that's what we're going to do. That took way longer than I thought it would. Honestly, I've been cleaning for like two and a half hours. I'm literally sweating, but my kitchen is looking great. The fridge took a really long time, but I did a super deep clean and everything looks fantastic. I even did the outside, the doors, the handles. I did my microwave also, and look at my fridge. It's so clean, so organized. Like I said, I have a ton of food because we have a lot of leftovers, but it's all organized. Everything is cleaned and looking good. I am so happy with it. Now we're gonna tackle this stuff. I'm gonna do my stove, my oven, and then the counters. Shiza freaking Minnelli. I'm exhausted. Literally like three and a half hours later, I am finally done. For today, I should imply because I am so tired but my kitchen smells and looks so good. Sorry about the lighting. I'm literally in my car and it is literally pitch black outside. I hate this time of year because it gets so dark so fast. So I have the car light on, but I just got to sushi. I'm just waiting for my two friends. They are late as per usual. I am friggin' starving. It is 7.06 p.m. and I have not had dinner yet. Also the car ride here was shit. Like if you can tell it was raining the entire time, but this is the sushi place that we're at we've been coming here for literally years 168 sushi it is the best i honestly haven't seen these two friends since our sushi date last month honestly it seems like a monthly sushi date where we just like catch up and stuff which is really much needed honestly i've been so busy i've been tired i've been feeling overworked and overwhelmed so this is definitely a good way to you know reset unless you want to be in it so you're embarrassed about no <laughs> wow there you go. There's your time okay, to shine. No, no, There's no, your time no, to no, shine. No. <laughs> That's a lot of food. All you can eat. <laughs> we got shrimp tempura, sweet potato rolls, and chicken rolls. This is Sarah, by the way. <laughs> Why is the color like yellow? I think it's the lighting in here. The lighting is terrible. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I gotta get myself a little bit more comfy here. It is like 10.45 right now. I slept in until about 10 o'clock. Literally much needed. For some reason, I could not sleep last night. I went to bed at like 12.30, 12.45-ish. I think that was like the last time I looked at my clock. This morning, I already walked Kobe. I washed my face, did some skincare, fed Kobe. Now I'm drinking my greens. You guys know I love doing this first thing in the morning. And honestly, after yesterday's sushi, vegetables is much needed. But because it is so late in the morning, I need to get started on my day. I am not done resetting, you know, everything. I need to still do laundry and I want to clean my bathroom. So let's get started on that.
So the other thing I wanted to show you guys that I bought was from HomeSense actually, and it is a new calendar for next year. Usually I get my calendars from Indigo, but this one is literally the exact same one. Like it is the exact same layout as the one that I currently have. I love the design on it with these like little flowers. It's so colorful. But the reason that I ended up buying it was the price. When I usually buy it from Indigo, it's like $40. And at HomeSense, it was $14.99, but then it was on sale for $12. So I was like, what the heck? Of course I'm going to buy it. Basically on the side, it's a breakdown of all the months and you could just flip to whatever month you want. So for example, let's go to January. So this is the cover page. It says January, then it says your goals, January to do's, January birthdays, January anniversary anniversaries and then you can write notes when you flip it over you get the full calendar so I like writing you know appointments and stuff in here and then you flip it and it breaks down each individual day so Monday January 2nd it says what holidays and this is where I write my to do's every day and I just check them off as the day goes and then towards the end of the month there is the note so here I like writing you know like what YouTube videos I'm gonna film and that kind of stuff it's so weird to think that there's literally like one month left of the year and I had to go buy it a planner calendar thing like crazy this year flew by oh my god i swear to god cleaning makes me so tired but it's a little bit later now and alan left he went to our gym like we have a gym in the condo so he's gonna go work out for like 30 minutes 45 minutes um before the f1 race starts i'm taking a rest day today usually i don't work out on weekends anymore just because I want to relax. So while he's gone, I feel like baking. I found a recipe on Pinterest. It's like banana strawberry muffin. So we're going to try and make those. I honestly cannot get over how good these look. So we're gonna taste test it now. It smells so freaking good. The muffin liners I used were really old and honestly just crap. So it's giving me a bit of a hard time, but let's taste test. Cheers. Oh wow. The strawberry, it's a little bit weird because usually I eat strawberries cold, but it's like warm. I don't get the banana flavor whatsoever. And honestly, I think I would like a little bit more cinnamon. So maybe one whole teaspoon instead of half a teaspoon. And honestly, I think next time I'm going to try adding walnuts. I think that would give it like some more texture and a little bit of crunch would be really good. But honestly, super like happy with how this turned out this is a great little snack or like even a breakfast if you're on the go every morning it made 12 muffins so you can have one or two every morning you can have one or two as a snack whatever it is honestly after all the cleaning i have been doing that was much needed i love baking i feel like baking is like it's just my thing. I really like doing it, so that was really nice. It is a lot later now, as you can tell. It's really dark outside, but before I close out this video, I wanted to show you. So I had Alan fix the lights that were hanging down, and this is what it looks like. I love it. It's so pretty, but I'm so sad. One of the strings, I don't know if you guys can tell. So the top part, it works, but the rest of them don't. So we kind of just like entangled it with this one. It's literally just so pretty. I love it so much, and I think we're going to put our Christmas tree there. That's usually where we put it. I'll just have to move my mirror. I am watching Netflix, this show called I Am a Stalker, I think it's called. I just muted it for a second. It is crazy. It's all of these different cases of people being stalked and what happened and all of that jazz. And I am just having some banana Greek yogurt with half a scoop of banana protein powder, granola, and blueberries. And I think I'm gonna call it a night for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to me down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I have a crazy big busy week ahead so I'm so glad that I was able to clean my freaking house. I feel so 
good. I loved baking today. I did absolutely so much today, but I still feel like I have so much energy. I feel like the time went by so slowly. So it was one of those days. It was just a really good day and just weekend overall. I hope this inspired you guys to be productive and, you know, get your shit together. It was definitely much needed on my end, but that is up. Wrapping it up. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.